Hello, everybody, and welcome to Old Fort, Ohio, where the Stockaders try to defend their home court against the visiting Hopewell Loudon Chieftains. This is Heart of Ohio Sports. I'm Zach Dillon. Joined alongside me is Dominic Helmstetter. Dominic, we're in for a game that really should decide the SBC River. Uh, no question. We've got two excellent basketball teams here uh, at the top of the SBC. Uh, Hopewell Loudon right now, they have a slight edge. Both teams are 12-1, and one, but Hopewell has a slight edge because the first matchup between these two teams, Hopewell Loudon came in and uh, they took care of business. Now, Hopewell, uh, a couple weeks ago, they also played Calvert, who is also bunched up there at the top of the SBC. Hopewell took care of them, uh, and 45-41, uh, huge victory over Calvert. So what does that really mean? We got these two teams. They're showing down for SBC supremacy, Zach. Three minutes, 40 seconds left to go before the national anthem. Let's talk first about Hopewell Loudon. Uh, you were talking to me earlier, right? They have their big three. They need to have Carter Yarborough. Right, have that, that big game. That was your deciding player, right? Uh, yeah, Yarborough, he's going to be a huge factor, especially when you start thinking about the shooting and being able to stretch out this old Fort defense. But, uh, you know, the kid that I'm really excited to watch here, number five, Donovan Elmore. And the reason I say that is because when you look at both of these basketball teams, uh, they both rebound with equal efficiency. Uh, and Do uh, Donovan Elmore, he's, the, he's your five, all right? He is a great rebounder offense defense he he pulls down about seven boards a night uh, but uh, he's got to be the guy that does that because this old fort stockader team they love to run that uh, that motion offense so they're going to be moving you around a lot and that kind of negates what donovan elmore does well on the defensive side so i'm really excited anxious to see uh, what kind of an impact is he going to have on the game? If Elmore has a great game defensively, comes in, uh, has a great game offensively as well, he's their second leading scorer. If he walks out of tonight with uh, the highest point total for Hopewell Loudon, I think they walk out with a, with a victory because I think he can be that real X factor uh, for the Chieftains. So this is obviously the keys to the game. Uh, now let's talk a little bit about Old Fort. Again, two minutes left to go here. Uh, and when we talk about Old Fort as a team, they're playing much more uh, back behind the perimeter. Uh, yeah, no question. So Old Fort, uh, when you take a look around the SBC, uh, they've got three guys that are at the top of the list when it comes to uh, three-point efficiency. You've got Ernsberger, which, you, uh, which you've mentioned. You've got Adelsberger, who's coming back off injury. In fact, he leads the league 53% from the three-point line. Uh, and uh, then you've got Perez and Dubois. So you've got four people on this Old Fort team that can shoot lights out better than most of the Chieftains can. So that's another chess piece that I'm excited to watch here with this Old Fort Stockader team. They can shoot. We saw it weeks ago against Calvert Senecas. They just shot lights out, and Calvert had no response because they could not keep up. So if you're looking at Hopewell Loudon, they shoot a lot of two points. They have high two-point volume. They do not shoot a lot of three-pointers here. Uh, and if you go through, uh, the uh, uh, Yarborough, he is their number one three-point threat. 37%. He's made 20 28 three-pointers this season. Everybody else is right around 10. So he's more than doubled up everybody else. So he's your one shooter. That's the person to keep an eye on in crunch time maybe, but three-pointers, I, I think Old Fort, they've got an advantage here. And uh, that's something that uh, it'll be nice to see because Hopewell, they play a lot of zone, and that can really hurt the zone defense that they like to run out. And that's going to be Eric Hoover's plan exactly. Head coach of the Old Fort Stockaders in his 13th year as we prepare for the national anthem that was the heather hunker trial advisor magical moments vacations keys to the game we'll send you down to the court for the national anthem Tonight by the Old Fort Pep Band, the 
the star-spangled banner. Beautiful national anthem performance from the Old Fort Band. Let's take a look at the starters first, Dominic. We'll do the, the Hopewell Loudon Chieftains. All right. They've got number zero, Blake Barrier, coming out there. Carter Yarborough, number three. And they've got Donovan Elmore, uh, one of our X-Factors we talked about in our pregame show there. And then they've got number 10, Braylon Martinez, and of course, number 23, Evan Kreese. You're starting five for the Hopal out in Chieftains. And now, now we're turning it over here to the Stockaders. They're going to see some familiar faces here for the hometown crowd. Number one, Connor Ernsberger. We've got number three, Isaiah Perez. He was our player of the game uh, during the last contest that we covered here for the Stockaders. Excited to see him out on the court. And you got number 12, Carter Dubois. And uh, there you're going to see number 22, Blake Bender. And then final, your big number 23, Carter Cleveland, your five for the Stockaders. So Stockaders, they're running out Ernsberger, Perez, Dubois, Bender, Cleveland, and the Chieftains, they're running out Barrier, Yarborough, Elmore, Martinez, and Crease. So we have the Steinman Signs Graphic Inc. tip off to take the tip off for Hopewell Loudon. That's number 23, Evan Crease. And then Blake Bender on the other side for the Stockaders. Tip is up. And Old Fort comes up with it. And Martinez going deep right away. Three, swish. Well, Dominic, Perez. we certainly didn't have to wait for it, did we? Nope. Isaiah Perez, we talked about that in our pregame, how he likes to shoot it up there, along with his compadres. And just like that. Blake Barrier now. Pass over to Yarborough, back to Barrier. Barrier working his way inside of the paint. Man, yeah. the zone defense inside is suffocating for a team that's trying to find a way in. And Hopewell, their big three, they like to cut into the paint there and get quick baskets. You see a foul down there by the baseline. Hopewell out in there. They're looking for a hole in the defense, Zach. They're trying to cut it in there, get an easy basket. Remember, this is a team that shoots inside out. They don't shoot a lot of three-pointers, so they're looking for that hole in the Stockaders' defense. And a uh, great job there by Old Fort, not, giving it, not making it easy for them. Gets the ball outside. That's Crease back to Barrier. Stolen away. That's number Cleveland. 23, Carter yeah. Cleveland. Carter Cleveland with the steal. Great help side defense by the Stock Haters. And there you go. Nice, easy layup for uh, for Connor Ernsberger. Yeah, good take there from Ernsberger. Now it's Barrier. Full court press. 
And we saw this earlier in the season, the Stockaders. They can do this all night long, Zach. Put a lot of pressure on uh, on this Hopewell team. And you see a Braylon deep one Martinez, there. Martinez, no he good. It. Man, I don't think he even hit the rim on that one. And they're off. They're running. Perez out front. Good move from Perez. All right, right now, Blake Barrier bringing it up the court. Old Fort out to a strong start, a 7-0 run. Inside, that ball batted away and bounced, found its way back to Barrier, who can't put it home. Ernsberger picking up a, a huge rebound there, limiting Hopewell out into just the one shot. And now we see this deadly offense again, and you can see they're nice and spread out. Nobody in the middle. Elmore's the key there. That kind of negates his defensive presence a little bit. Here's Ernsberger. Loses his footing, and we'll get a whistle. And I think they're going to say that's on Carter Yarborough. It is. So we get the first whistle of the game. It appears as though Isaiah Perez is okay. Still a little banged up, but he'll get the basketball. He's a tough kid. He's, he's all hustle, all heart right there. Absolutely love watching this kid play. And, I mean, he's so cool. He's got the headband. He's got the glasses. Oh, ooh. And pinned against oh. the glass. Number 23, oh. Evan Cree says no thank you. He came out of nowhere, Zach. Pinned it up against the glass, like you said. Swatted it. Great, great backside help. In the face, that ball no good. Shot from Crease. Yeah, again, uh, Hopewell, they are not a three-point shooting team, and they're getting stuck with shooting three-pointers. Just not working out. So that ball sails out of bounds. Old Fort to inbound right under the Chieftains. Yeah, number basket. five, uh, Donovan Elmore. Great help side defense, but look how far out he is. He's, he's their number five. He, he doesn't like getting out that far. Wide open, three look, no good. Crease can't come up with the Perez. rebound. That's Perez. No good oh. on the layup. And finally, Barrier brings it down. Yeah, Hopewell out, and they cannot give. It's Cleveland with the scoop. The other way, fast break. Can't convert. Three-point shot. That was good. I take it back. Dubois, big three, leads to a timeout. Oh, just like that. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, oof. Zach, I, you know, Hopewell Loudon, I was getting ready to say before Dubois hit that dagger of a three, Hopewell Loudon cannot let the Stockaders get a second shot because the type of shooters they roll out there, this is going to really, really hurt them. They've got to pick up that uh, defensive rebound immediately, get back over to the court because they're not a fast-paced team. Stockaders are a fast-paced team. They like to move the ball quick. They know they've got four shooters. They like to run the court quick. Uh, Isaiah, Isaiah Perez, he's the table setter, and you've seen that right here. He's hustling, he's scooping, he's diving, uh, he's dealing. He gets them going, and so far it's been all stockaders. 10-0 here in the first quarter. Yeah, this timeout brought to you by First National Bank of Sycamore, and I think you hit the nail on the head. I mean, the, the stockaders are playing just suffocating defense inside versus a team who needs to play in the paint. Yeah. And, and they're unable to do that, and they can't even find a way in, Dom. And I don't think Donovan Elmore's even gotten a shot off yet. And, and for me, he was the X factor. He was the key. And we just have not seen his involvement in the offense yet. So let's see if we can see that change after the uh, timeout. Bounce pass inside. That's number 10, Mar Martinez. Yarborough can't bring in the pass. Back to Martinez. Back to Yarborough. Yeah. Elmore's covered down there on the block. He's got two defenders around him. Cross-court pass. Yarbrough thought about a good defense so far from the Stockaders. Here's Barrier. Barrier loses his handles and gifts that ball to Blake Bender. Watch Perez here. He, you know, he's a little Energizer bunny. He's going to feed it. Look at this. Oh, wow. Connor Ernsberger. Boom, just like that. Dishing it. 12-0, and the Chieftains are stunned so far out of the gate. Here's Martinez. And we'll get a whistle. 10 seconds. A 10-second violation. And, look, and You know, we, we mentioned it during the last time out, Zach. Hopewell Loudon, they don't like to rush it. They don't like to run it. And that's the problem right there because you add that pressure. They're not in a hurry to move it. Stockaders know it. 10-second call, turnover again for Hopewell. Here is Isaiah Perez working on Yarborough. 
Ooh. pass inside to Ernsberger, <laughs> and that would have been a layup. Yeah, Perez, if he would have got it there a second earlier, it would have been an easier layup. Yarbrough! Oh. Just missed the dunk! Second oh, chance oh, points! Oh, man. Wow, lots <laughs> happened to Evan Kreese, the basket on that end. Yarbrough Euro-stepped his way and almost <laughs> had one of the most impressive dunks I've seen at a high school level. Elmore tries trying to dunk it from the, from the elbow there. Wow. Two steps and he got it to the hoop. <laughs> uh, here is number one, Connor Ernsberger. Dishes it outside. Dubois gets it to Perez. Watch the cutting action. You, you see this a lot with their, their offense. Backdoor cuts and just constant movement, constant movement. Just look at this. Beautiful. Step in, shot, got it. Isaiah Perez knocks it down as he steps around the defender. It just 14 to 2. You know, that, that movement, that ball movement just lulls them to sleep, and they got exactly what they wanted. Nice open shot. Yarbrough, the three attempt, no good. Offensive rebound. There it put is. In. That's number five, Donovan Elmore. Great job, Elmore. He got the rebound. That's what he's got to do to be successful tonight. Get the rebound, uh, put it back in right where he wants it, down by the block. Uh, two points for Elmore. Uh, and uh, gets Hopewell up to four so far tonight. Dubois passes to Cleveland. Back to Dubois, who he'll take, take the three. Elmore, another, another board there, Zach. Another rebound indeed. Here's Yarborough. Back to Barrier. In the corner, wide open. Look for Evan Kreese. No good. And we'll get a whistle. Yeah, great job, Connor Ernsberger. He had great position down there on the block. Sealed, it, uh, sealed his man off. He got the rebound. Hopewell committed a, a costly foul there, trying to get after it when they didn't have any business even trying. Uh, it's just, Zach, it's just been stockaders all quarter here. Just so impressive. That 10-0 run to get things started off. A couple dagger threes. Uh, they're just taking what they want. Perez working against some suffocating defense there from Suter. This is Dubois. Back to Ernsberger. Oh, and that pass uh, sails to the Hopewell bench. Yeah, I think that's the first mistake that I've seen the Stock Gators make tonight. And, you know, Carter Cleveland, I bet if he could have that back, he, he would love to have it back because you kind of see him explaining to the coach. Makes up for it there, though. Barrier able to get around the defender. Loses his handles, picks it back up. Barrier slows the pace way down. That's what they want to do. Pass out to the corner. It's crease back to Barrier. Elmore's your screen guy. He's down on the block right now. Don't be shocked if you see him pop up towards the elbow. Cross court pass. This is Suter. Martinez, the wide open look, no good. Rebound number one, Connor Ernsberger. Yeah, that's his third rebound tonight. He's scooping it up really nice. And uh, oh. Good play from Evan Kreese to knock that one down. The two on one, no good. But we'll get a shooting foul on Ernsberger. Mike yeah, I think it is Ernsberger there. Yeah, and you're going to get two shots here, and that's one of those new things with the OHSAA. Uh, these fouls, uh, they automatically go two shots. There's no one and one. There's nothing like that. Uh, so uh, we'll see how Blake Barrier, how he fares here with, uh, with these free throws. Free throws brought to you by Buckeye IT Services. No good. We'll get a substitution. Yeah. You know, Barrier, he's a 61% free throw shooter on the season. He misses that first one. He really needs to get the second one because they've got a 14-4 to -4 deficit right now, and they just need to pick up points anywhere they can get them. No good from the line. Adelsberger comes in, and he has been one of the, the leading scorers on this old four team since coming back from injury. Yeah, that he, pass sails off the foot of Perez. Adelsberger scores about 15 points a night. Uh, lethal shooter. He's just uh, He hasn't had a lot of run time this, uh, this season because of injury. Back outside. Here's Kreese. Kreese passed below the bucket. No good. Brought down by Adelsberger. Yeah, great job limiting Hopewell to one board. Great feed. Man. Ah. That was an excellent pass from Adelsberger inside the layup. 
by Blake Bender. Couldn't yeah. put it down. They got the look they wanted, Zach. They just didn't finish. So here is Barrier. Eight seconds left. Going to hold it. Takes it himself. Two-foot floater, no good. Rebound, Barrier. No one able to come up with it. And an exciting first quarter if you are a Chieftains fan. 14 to 4. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Your Legacy Federal Credit Union, your premier financial institution in Seneca County since 1952. Your community, your legacy. Federally insured NCUA. Let Heather Hunker, travel advisor with Magical Moments Vacation, take the stress out of booking your next getaway. Specializing in family and group vacations, as well as adults-only trips, Heather can also help you with booking your dream destination wedding. Most trips are planned at no additional cost to you, and you'll have her support both pre-travel and in-destination with every step of the way. Book your next dream getaway now. Heather Hunker, travel advisor with Magical Moments Vacations. Keep it locked in. You're watching Hoops on Hoos. Welcome back to Old Fort, Ohio. An exciting first quarter if you're a Stockaders fan. 14-4, the home team coming out of the blocks hot. Dominic, what do you think? Uh, you know, I think uh, Old Fort, they came ready to play. I mean, you got to look at it this way, Zach. There's no football season for Old Fort. They have been waiting for this moment to capture an SBC title all semester, all season. There's no football. This is their game, and they've come out and showed it. Here is Barrier. Gets it into Martinez. Mm. That pass blocked away by Adelsberger, but finds its way to Suter. Again. Blocked away again. Blake Bender trying to orchestrate the three-on-one. Tapped away by Barrier, who saves it. What a hustle play there. Great job, Hopewell Loudon, uh, spoiling the perfect uh, breakaway for the Stockaders, and now they get their chance on offense. Barrier. This defense has been suffocating inside. That's Elmore. Barrier comes up with it. Nice post move, couldn't fall. Old Fort with the rebound. Great job, Cleveland uh, picks up a rebound there, snags it away from Elmore, and that's what you got to do all night tonight. Perez in the corner. It's Cleveland back to Perez, now to Adelsberger. Look at the ball movement. They don't have anybody in the paint, and it puts Elmore in such a bad spot. He doesn't want to be out that far because they can just blow right by him. And it's all the stuff on the backside that's just open, Zach. It, it, it allows Old Fort to just cut, 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 and get what they want. Perez, spin move, tries to put it up. Jumper no good. Not bad. I mean, his defender was right on him the whole time, but... There's nobody else in the paint, so it's not a bad shot. If you're a coach, you're happy with that. That ball, the floater there you go. from Evan Kreese from the free throw line. That's good. Yeah, his fourth tonight. Perez slowing down the tempo a little bit. Crosses the timeline. Gets that ball into Cleveland. Bounce pass. Great bounce pass. Bender puts it up. That one's good off the glass. Cleveland, great bounce pass right in there to Blake Bender on the cut. Easy score. Martinez, pass back to Bender. Got to get over the line. There he goes. Bounce pass inside. Yeah, they had that 10 second call in the first quarter. They almost got another one there. Martinez knocks down the three, trying to put his team back in this thing. 16 to 9, five and a half minutes left to play. Yeah, M Martinez, uh, you know, he doesn't shoot a lot of threes there. 36%, he's made 15 now, 16 total threes on the season. So uh, he's not high volume, but when he does shoot it, it's usually pretty meaningful. Perez steps out of bounds. So we get a turnover. Calatrulio coming on for the Chieftains now. Chieftains are closing the uh, the score gap here a little bit, Zach. 16-9 now, and they get this ball back. If they can uh, get a solid score here, then this is a different game. You're within a couple shots. Martinez 
to Barrier in the corner. That's Yarborough. Back to Barrier. Yarborough take the three. That one's there good. There you go. Yeah, Yarborough, their leading three-point specialist. Um, 37% on the season. Uh, he's the guy you got to watch. He's the shooter. All of a sudden, a four-point game now. Perez. Pass inside to Cleveland. Back out now to Dubois. On the corner for Cleveland. Suffocating defense. And Barrier comes up with a steal. That ball tipped away by Kreese. That's the second turnover Cleveland's had here in the second quarter. And, uh, you know, it's just it's allowing Hopewell Latin to get back into the game. They just can't do that. Martinez dribbles that ball back out towards the logo. Now Yarborough. Hopewell Loudon, they got a smaller lineup here. Elmore out. So they're trying to get their, uh, their playmakers moving around, dashing to the hoop. Barrier the pump fake. Good go. take, but that's, couldn't get it to fall. Rebound there, Martinez. That shot from the wing from Evan Kreese falls. Yeah, that's exactly what they want. Uh, they want that second shot, first of all. So great rebounding, but they want to cut, 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 because those are the type of things that they thrive on. A one-score game now. Adelsberger. Couldn't get the fadeaway to fall. Three that, and a half minutes left to play. That's his first shot tonight, Zach. The leading For scorer, not putting much up. Well, to be fair, he hasn't had to. Came in as a sub <laughs> Euro step. Oh, Martinez yeah. almost had a beautiful finish. This doesn't fall for Crease either. Yeah, it, Old Fort, they got to they gotta close those lanes, Zach. They can't let it happen. And you did another costly turnover. What a steal from Yarborough. Oh, the spin move, and he's fouled on the way up. Look, this Stockaders defense, they, they got to tighten things up here. They're, they are making it way too easy on Hopewell Loudon. Hopewell Loudon, they thrive on this uh, uh, pick-and-pop type of thing. They'll move the ball around, but they always, always, always dash and cut to the hoop. That's just their game, a lot of ISO. But the Stockaders, they're letting them do it. That's the problem, Zach. You give them two feet, they're going to take it every single time. First shot from the line is good. Substitutions. Ernsberger comes on for Adelsberger. Knocks this one down. Yeah, he's got five tonight. Then Elmore comes back on for Kreese. Yeah, and, and Yarborough, he doesn't miss from the line. 88% on the season. He, it's, I mean, he's a lock. It's about as close as you can get to a lock. Uh, and it looks like a timeout down on the floor for uh, Old Fort, Zach. Yeah, timeout called by Eric Hoover. We'll keep it here. This timeout is brought to you by First National Bank of Sycamore. So if you're Coach Hoover and you're taking the timeout, you've just given up a huge lead. Right, over 10 points at one point. Uh, what are you saying in the huddle right now? Um, so the big thing is, Hopewell Loudon, they got their small ball lineup in because they took the big kid out. Their second leading scorer on the bench and they're playing better because they're able to exploit this Old Fort defense. If I'm sitting there on the coach's bench, you gotta close, you gotta close, you gotta close. You need to be big, you need to get your arms out, you need to close those gaps, uh, you need to talk to each other, communicate, because right now you're not doing that. You're opening gaps, you're focusing too much on your man, and you're not giving help side defense nearly enough. So you gotta help, 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 get big in those gaps. Ernsberg, pass outside to Blake Bender. Blake Bender, the spin move turnaround doesn't fall. And that's Elmore with a, with a big rebound. He's back in the game. Elmore came on, of course, for Crease. Here's Barrier up top, inside. Yeah, this is what Elmore Dobbins. wants. Elmore, fade away, no good. Tried to pull a Dirk Nowitzki. Yeah. Look, that's the shot he wants. He's going to work it down on the block. He had Cleveland. Cleveland's been out there longer, so he's getting gassed. Elmore's fresh. That's what you're looking for. Bounce pass, Woo! batted away. Jack well, Calatrulio. Yeah, great hustle, Jack Calatrulio, knocking that away, not making it easy for the Stockaders. And uh, you see a, that hustle factor, which 
Isaiah Perez exemplified for the old Fort Stockaders in the first quarter, but now you start to see a little hustle from the Chieftains, and guess what? Th these are two first place caliber teams are fighting for the same thing. We've talked about it. This is basically going to side the SBC River Division. Wide open shot. Ooh. Does not catch a piece of the rim. Yeah, they're letting them have it. <laughs> That's what we call an air ball in the business, guys. Ernsberger is going to try to shake that off. Both student sections. Connor brought this up. Connor Rausch, our cameraman for tonight, brought this up. Uh, earlier, but both student sections on the same side of the court. Yeah, that's unique. Uh, it's different. Uh, it's not something you see a lot, Zach. But, uh, you know, kind of fun. It, it takes away the chirping aspect, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Normally when they're oh, right absolutely. across from each other, eliminates that. Yeah. So, Zach, uh, I mentioned it in timeout, that help side defense, and you just saw a major weakness in the Stockaders' help side defense because you had Evan Kreese, who just came through a 10-foot gap, and it allowed him to easily do a touch pass down to Elmore. If the Stockaders give him that, Hopewell wins this game, so they really got to do a much better job. Because, uh, you know, Hopewell, that's what they love to do. An easy little cut. You get a nice bunny shot, or you feed it to your big boy. Um, it's they got to do a better job on the back side. It's just falling apart. A barrier will inbound here. Out to Martinez to number five, Elmore. That's not his game. Perez on the breakaway. And he was Try. looking for the whistle, and yeah. there it comes. Uh, a little acting there, Zach. Um, <laughs> I... And you can see it on the face of uh, Evan Kreese. He's just kind of smiling, and, and even uh, Ernsberger's getting in on the giggles down there because uh, uh, I think uh, Theater 101 was on full display by uh, Isaiah Perez. Uh, there was good defense by Kreese. I think <laughs> Perez realized, like, all right, I'd rather go to the line than try to make anything else happen. Uh, yeah, yeah, no question. And, you know, Perez, he's, look, he's a great basketball player, great shooter. He's... He hits 75% of his free throws here. So, you know, he's going to hit more of these than not. And you see it right there, cha-ching. Perez rocking the glasses, the headband, and the leg sleeve dripped you know, out tonight. He's a cool kid. He's got a couple tats on his leg, too. Uh, I think I want to. Yeah, I think I want to be his friend, guys, because <laughs> uh, he is he's awesome. Absolutely love that kid. Can't get it to <laughs> fall here. So one for two from the line, a one-point lead for the home team. Stock haters. As a friend, I'm going to tell him to make that second free throw, though. <laughs> Braylon Martinez pass to Crease, who puts it up. That hey, one's good floater. Zach, Crease was in that exact spot last time, and he's there again. Nobody's checking him. You got to check him. Get him out of the paint. And that has been his game all year, like you said in the in the keys. Here's Ernsberger and the chance of air ball. Pick back up, pass inside. Connor, Carter Cleveland, good pass from Ernsberger there. Yeah, they do so such a great job with those cuts and those passes. Uh, this is a high assist team, so good to see it finally work out for them. Behind the back pass from Barrier. Some fancy stuff. Back and forth, Yarborough. Yeah, he's your shooter, so keep an eye on him in the corner. Barrier dribbles it back out to the logo. <laughs> Literally. 31 seconds left in the half, 19-18. And Stockaders want that final shot here. Or the uh, Chieftains want the final shot here so that Stockaders don't get another uh, another chance. Martinez back to barrier. Nothing's going. 15 seconds left. Yeah, number three is your shooter. Keep an eye on him. He's in the corner down here. Things pick up here. Martinez, bunny Ooh. hops his way. Good move. Can't fall. Three, Three seconds left. Two. <laughs> Elmore. Elmore. He got it. It's wow. good. So some great offensive rebounding to go to the half. Chieftains have the lead for the first time tonight. Uh, Elmore, great job cleaning it up, getting the rebound, the two points. Halftime 2019 Chieftains over Old Fort. Well, we'll go to break here. Talk halftime basketball after this. At First National Bank of Sycamore, we are a truly local bank that is community based and community focused. 
We are invested in your success and our team is here to help. First National Bank of Sycamore, banking that just makes sense. Buckeye IT Services is a trusted partner for cybersecurity, fully managed and co-managed IT support. Municipalities, financial organizations, and mature businesses turn to them to eliminate IT stress and enable growth. Visit BuckeyeIT.com today to start your partnership. Keep it locked in. You're watching Hoops on Hoos. Signs and Graphic Inc. is here for all of your printing and design needs. From reunions to small events, to business apparel and even vehicle lettering, they've got you covered. They make the gear that you make your memories in. Steinmetz Signs and Graphic Inc. You're watching high school basketball right here on Heart of Ohio Sports, the pulse of the Buckeye State.
anywhere you're watching heart of ohio sports heart of ohio sports gives fans the access they want when they want it and the athletes get the coverage they deserve our broadcasts are free and they always will be we don't hide behind a paywall when my family can't come to the games they always watch on heart of ohio sports 
UIS Insurance and Investments, your hometown agency, providing a full range of insurance and financial services with a local touch. Contact your homegrown agent, Sam Shelt Palm, for a professional review today at 419-447-4242, extension 1132. You're watching high school basketball right here on Heart of Ohio Sports, the pulse of the Buckeye State. Welcome back to Old Fort, Ohio. Zach Dillon, Dominic Helmstead are on the call tonight. And we have had a back and forth game that really started in the second quarter. Currently, Hopewell Loudon up 20 to 19 over the Stockaders. Dom, what are your thoughts from the first half? Yeah, so Old Fort got out to a lightning hot streak. Uh, they started the game off 10 on a 10-0 run. Uh, they were hustling. They were uh, they were running up and down the court, uh, really giving Hopewell Loudon some fits. And then Hopewell Loudon, they're a much more, they're a little bit slower, more methodical team. They started to regain a little momentum by slowing down the tempo of the game, which worked against the uh, Stockaders. And then what we saw happen there in the second quarter, Hopewell Loudon did a really great job offensively. Uh, they kept moving the ball, and both of these teams, they moved the ball really, really well. But uh, Hopewell, they kept moving the ball, and what happened is on the backside, every single possession, you're gonna have a backside cutter trying to get that ball down low near the basket. Hopewell Loudon schooled the Stockaders in that because they didn't adjust. Even with a couple timeouts, the Stockaders, they didn't check that backside cutter. And uh, somebody like Evan Kreese, who averages 13 points a night, if you just let him walk into the paint, he's going to do one of two things. He's going to get an easy shot, or he's going to feed it to our X factor of the game here, Donovan Elmore, which he did a couple times. And uh, you're going to get another easy shot from somebody. And, you know, the times that Kreese did miss it, you still had Donovan Elmore. He cleaned it up. He leads all players tonight with four rebounds so far. He's doing a great job. He's doing what, you know, you would have hoped if you were the Chieftains. And we saw him put up that buzzer beater right at the end yeah. of half. Uh, so with a minute left before we get back underway, uh, what are you looking for for the rest of this game? Yeah, so look, Hopewell allowed, and they averaged 37 points in the second half of all their games. Old Fort, they only averaged 32 points in the second half of all their games tonight. So, Zach, if I'm Hopewell Loudon, I want to continue to slow down the pace of this game, all right? We saw the Stockaders come out and apply pressure early on. If they can apply pressure and be successful with it, then they might be able to regain a little momentum. But Hopewell Loudon controlling the tempo, controlling the pace, continuing to move the ball, pick their spots on offense. If they keep doing that like they did in the second quarter, uh, Hopewell Loudon's going to run away with this game. They're going to win it. And we saw it. There, there were some major adjustments that needed to happen on the side of the Stockaders. 15 seconds left before we find out if head coach Eric Hoover has had his team prepped for those. So as we get back underway, Carter Dubois to inbound. Dubois, Perez, Bender, Cleveland, and Ernsberger. So the starting five out there for both teams. And Ernsberger has been having a great game so far tonight, Zach. He's got six points. He's really, he's kind of been the catalyst. Perez shot no good. Offensive rebound. They'll get it right back to him. That ball off of Barrier. Perez, he's a little Energizer bunny there. I mean, I think he, he got lucky, to be honest with you, Zach, that uh, Barrier got his fingertips on it. Uh, a little reckless on that one. He's got to control it. Pass inbounded to Cleveland. Here is Perez. Bounce pass back outside. Yeah, Cleveland doing the screening there, trying to get some crisscross action to free somebody up. Ernsberger turn around, look at his options, nothing there, so he decided to take it himself. Jump shot from the free throw line is good. 
Yeah, first half, uh, you know, Stock Gators are trying to churn their offense from the block. Now they're moving it up to the elbow, so it'll be interesting to see if uh, that has a positive effect for them. So Hart far, so good. Yarbrough absolutely suffocated there. You can see him having some words down there with, uh, with Blake Barrier, too, trying to figure out what they need to do to give themselves a little bit more space. Barrier. He's going to take it himself. Where's that the, one, no good. Where's the defense? Ugh. You know, the coach let me do one thing, Zach, when I was in high school. Let's yeah. play defense. As we get an athletic finish there from Connor Ernsberger, uh, he let you play defense. He didn't let you put up points. Yeah, he said uh, <laughs> you need to screen and you need to defend. You need to rebound. Uh, so I'm sitting here just watching, and I'm just, like, cringing because – they play great defense in the first quarter, but it's just fell apart. And they just, they're just letting, letting the Chieftains walk in for good shots. Here's Crease. Martinez wide open on the wing. That went off the top of the glass. No good. Martinez should have dumped it down low to Elmore. He had, uh, he had Cleveland cornered on the, on the block. Perez knocks it down for three. That's the second three-pointer of the night. And, uh, you know, if he gets on, if he starts to catch fire, Zach, uh, watch out Hopewell Loudon because uh, he's a maniac, man. Here is Barrier pass to Martinez. Martinez cross court to Yarbrough. He'll put it up for three. Tries to respond and does. Yeah, that's his second three of the night. And uh, you see two shooters from one to the next exchanging the long ball. We'll get a whistle here from head coach Roger Jury. 26-23, so out of the gate, what are you seeing? Um, both teams are hitting the three, so that's that's good news. Uh, if they both keep it up, those averages that we led, the, <laughs> led our intro with won't matter because they're gonna put up a lot more points than that. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm still seeing the stockaders, they're slow to recover on the backside. That's not a good sign there because when you've got somebody like Blake Barrier who gets the ball in bounds and he's able to take six steps forward before he's met by a defender, that's terrible defense. You gotta get on him immediately as soon as he's right around that three-point line. You gotta have somebody on him. You can't let him walk in because that becomes easy pickings and that's exactly what the Chieftains want. Those are high percentage shots and they do good at shooting those. So the first whistle out of the X-Cray Mexican restaurant halftime show, five minutes 45 left to go in the third quarter. Good ball movement here. Ernst Berger's going to take it. No good. Can't finish it. Rebound there, Elmore. Yeah, Elmore uh, scooping it up, limiting them to one shot. That's uh, that's what you need. That's what you want. Here's Barrier directing traffic. Yeah, look at Elmore on the block there, Zach. He, he wants the ball, and they're looking at him now, which is a good thing. Yarborough pass back to Blair Barrier. Martinez floats it into Elmore. That ball mm. tipped away. There you go. Great, Great job, defense. Bender. Blake, Blake Bender. Yeah, Bender, he uh, he came in from the backside. Uh, good sign right there. Cleveland. Puts up. That one falls. Excuse me. That's Carter Dubois. Dubois. The and one. Yeah, you, you mentioned Cleveland, Zach. Uh, he has been parked right at that elbow, and he is getting a shoulder and a forearm on every single defender as they go by. And what it's led to, somebody like Dubois being able to go right to the basket and get that three-point conversion right there for him. Blake Barrier takes it up now. Yarborough back to Barrier. See that two-man trap. Uh, keep an eye on that because uh, it'd be interesting to see if they, they keep going back to it. Elmore, physical play down low and puts it in. Yeah, look, Cleveland's got to clear him out. Don't let him sit on the block. He's going to eat you alive if you let him do that. Here's Perez working between the legs. Gets it out to Dubois. Inside to Perez. Back Boom. to him. And oh, set back by Crease. Yeah, he's taking two right there. It was a lot of contact, of course, to go to the line. Look, uh, Hopewell, they had good rotations on the backside. They had two guys right there where Perez was driving to. It's just they just they nicked his hand. And Perez, we've seen him earlier in the first half. He's a great actor, Zach. All right, he's going to draw that foul every time. I, I don't think there was much acting going on there, though. There's a lot of contact from Crease. He sold it, though. He, he sold did. it. So first one at the line, no good. 
Thank that you. one falls. You know, Perez, he was one for two from the line in the first half. He's one for two right here. Uh, so he's two for four tonight, 50%, well below his uh, season average. That pass tipped up in the air, brought down by Carter Cleveland. And Perez loses Dubois. his glasses. Oh. <laughs> they. And that one puts it back. I'm, I'm watching what's going on with Perez's glasses. <laughs> Barrier picked him up and was going to hand him back to Perez and then slid can him back to the baseline. Can he see anything? I don't think Where Perez can they see go? The coach is running down here on the baseline, picking those glasses up. Cleveland. Uh, stolen away. Cleveland what tries to get to Perez. That? Wide receiver pass. And Could Perez even see it? <laughs> I, that's what I want to know. There is so much happening. I'm tripping over myself. That pass, <laughs> Perez had to act like a wide receiver. He lost his glasses. Perez is down here looking for his glasses. He doesn't know the coach picked him up on the, on the last possession. Why are they not giving them to him? You know, you would think he would need them. I don't know. I mean, yeah, he, he's, he's, he's like, where's my glasses? Coach is like, oh, I'm trying to put them back together. Literally, the coach is putting them back together on the bench right now. Oh. Look at this. Oh my yeah, goodness. He, it's like all hands on deck. And uh, meanwhile, Mean <laughs> Perez is like, where's the ball? Is it the middle one? <laughs> well, here is Perez. Can't see anything, but gets the pass into Ernsberger. Just throw it to the white jersey. That's all you need to do. Ernsberger loses his footing. Clean play there. Yarborough comes up with it. Great job, Carter Yarborough, picking that up. And uh, let's see what they can do with it. 32-25 right now, Zach. Stockaders got a nice little lead. I, I'm sorry, I'm still, I'm still watching <laughs> him work. Perez's glasses down here is <laughs> he doesn't crease. know what's going on. Here's Yarborough back outside to Martinez. Inside, Elmore loses the handle, it saves it. Stockader oh, ball turnover. Yeah. They're saying that uh, Braden or not uh, Braylen Martinez. Knocked it out of bounds. Old Fort ball. Looks like the assistant coach passed it off to people in the stands to help fix the glasses. Here's Perez, doesn't need him. That one, the floater, it falls for he's him. Just, he's just gonna walk around shooting, covering <laughs> up his eyes. He, you know, he's a man of mystery now. It's all field, two minutes, 40 seconds left here in the third quarter. Priest loses the handle. Dubois getting in on it, Zach. Look at the hustle. This is what happened in the first quarter for the Stockaders. Things were going really well, and you see it again right now. Yarborough for three, no good. Too strong. Dubois, Dubois, with, Dubois the board. with the rebound. Here's Ernsberger. <laughs> Back to Perez. Just waiting for it to doink him in the face. Perez working on crease, that pass right back to him. Here's Ernsberger who loses his footing. He's done that a couple times tonight. Perez back to Ernsberger. Dubois, here is Bender. Watch Perez in the corner. He keeps looking for that corner shot. Dubois. Here's Ernsberger. Man, there's just nothing. Yeah. Hopewell Loudon has locked down. He'll take it himself. That ball tipped up. Oof. Martinez, mm. great effort play there. Great job by Hopewell holding it firm there because, uh, you know, the Stockaders were just running it and running it, and they just didn't get a clean shot. So that's good defense right there. Down, down to about a minute right now. For the first time really tonight, it felt like the Chieftains were able to really clamp down on this yeah. old Ford offense as we see Elmore put it out in there. And that's his that's his third shot from the block, Zach, here in the third quarter. And if that trend continues, then the, the Chieftain offense, I think, is going to be doing good. But uh, Stock Aiders, they got to check him. they got to get him out. Here's Bender to Cleveland. And we'll get a travel. Yeah. Blake, Blake Bender. Bender. Yeah. That, that, that's a big one, 34-27 right now. So, you know, you're, you get a seven-point game, 44 seconds left in the third quarter here. And uh, you've got number five, uh, Donovan Elmore, who's kind of catching fire down by the block. And uh, Chieftains, uh, this, is, this is what they want. This is what happened in, this, in the second quarter, Zach. Started to turn that tide a little bit. Braylon Martinez now.
Elmer looking for that back door cut. <laughs> great ball movement from the Chieftains. Great take from Barrier. No good. Look. Martinez comes down with the offensive board. Elmore made that happen. He tipped it out. Great job keeping it active. We get a whistle on the baseline. Yeah, they're going to say Carter Cleveland uh, has got the foul there. Uh, I want to go back to that, uh, Zach. You, you're talking about that rebound. Uh, you know, it was made possible by Donovan Elmore. He, he got the tip, and uh, his teammate was able to grab it, which gave them life on that possession. Great job. Of course, they turn it over right here, so it doesn't matter. And that was Perez well, and they right turned back it over. to the Chieftains. Three on two fast break. Offensive board. Elmore, second got it. points right at the again. buzzer. Again. Elmore again at the buzzer. Is it good? I think that's what the conversation is right now. That's Elmore's second buzzer beater in consecutive quarters, Zach. Check that out. I think I think <laughs> they count it. They it's they counted it, Zach. They, they counted it. They absolutely did. So we'll head to the fourth quarter now. We'll take a short timeout and be right back. Heart of Ohio Sports is owned by Mullins Entertainment and located inside Studio Squared in downtown Tiffin. The space features a state-of-the-art podcast studio, open for public use. Building a platform for creators is one of our top priorities. UIS Insurance and Investments, your hometown agency providing a full range of insurance and financial services with a local touch. Contact your local homegrown agent, Jeff Leopold, for a professional review today at 419-447-4242, extension 1144. We connect fans to the action like no one else can. As a business in today's market, you got to stay ahead of the game. And what better way than to get on board with the fastest growing brand in media today? I mean, you can take it from me, but you can just listen to them. When recruiters want to see our game film, we tell them they can watch on Heart of Ohio Sports. Classonite, where imagination meets innovation. Unleash your creativity with precision 3D printing. Your ideas, our expertise. Classonite, your 3D printing partner. At Heart of Ohio Sports, it's obvious. The first thing that comes to mind is sports. But we do a lot more than just cover live sporting events. When we want to watch our highlights from last night's game, there's only one place we go, Heart of Ohio Sports. All right, we are back. You missed a Carter Dubois. Nice layup, and then Elmore puts it in. So the score now 36-31 with seven minutes left to go. Stock haters with the lead. Another update for you, Zach. Uh, Perez, his glasses are back in the game, uh, equipped with duct tape or uh, athletic tape. So he's rocking a, rocking a cool look now. Check that out. Yeah, Ernstberger once again slipping. I mean, that has been a problem for him really all night. This, this number three? Yeah, that's the third time that's happened uh, tonight. Uh, hopefully it's not something that continues and it's not costly here in a close game. We need to get this man some new shoes. Yeah, Martinez, great, great job uh, swatting that ball out of bounds. So here is Dubois. Now Perez, Perez oh, sent back by Elmore. Yeah, they got a nice, uh, nice chance here. Crease, the long, long two. two, long two, full timeout. So we get the timeout. Crease hit the points in transition. 36-33, the score. Yeah, Crease uh, picking up his tenth point tonight. Um, Great shot. It was open. It was wide open. Uh, uh, at first, they had a nice break going. It was 3-3. Three, three, uh, and you can make a lot with that one-on-one -on -one coverage. Uh, but then uh, fourth, 
Stock Hater kind of rotated around, but nobody picked him up uh, at the three-point line. Uh, he was able to step up, take a nice, comfortable shot, and uh, and sink it right there for the uh, for the Chieftains. We'd like to take a second to thank all of our sponsors, X-Cray Mexican Restaurant, Your Legacy Federal Credit Union, First National Bank of Sycamore, Studio Squared, Steinmetz Signs and Graphic, Inc., Buckeye IT Services, UIS Insurance and Investments, Placidite 3D Printing, Mullins Entertainment, Heather Hunker, Travel Advisor with Magical Moments Vacation, Five Star Maintenance, Linda S. Ritzler Accounting, Klaus Electric, DeWald Family Farms, Fiesel's Frame and Collision, and Burns Electric. Thank you to all of our sponsors who can bring you these streams for free. Yeah, three-point game here, Zach, in the fourth quarter. Uh, we've got six minutes, and I know we've mentioned it a couple times, but SBC domination is on the line, my friend. Inbound to Perez. Ernsberger. Haven't seen much of Adelsberger tonight. Not at all. You know, you know, he's been injured, and they just throw it out of bounds there. He's been injured, so I don't know if the, that injury is still affecting him or not, uh, but it's certainly, uh, you're right, he hasn't been out there much. Well, here is Barrier. Now Martinez. Nice bounce pass from Yarborough. Ooh, Set back and a travel. Travel. Great job by Blake Bender. Not letting, uh, not letting Crease do anything with it. Five minutes, 45 left to play here in the contest. A three-point game. Here is Connor Erlsberger. You hear the mm. airball chance. <laughs> Man, the student <laughs> sections can be relentless. They, they don't forget he had an airball earlier in the uh, in the. Game was it, was it the first quarter? Or yeah, the, the I think it was. I, th I think it was the third quarter. As like one of the earlier shots he had, or maybe it was I, earlier in the game. But I think it was the second it was quarter. Second it was quarter. before halftime for sure. Yeah, they're not letting him forget it though. <laughs> we try to forget it, but uh, student section's not letting him forget it. Dubois looking for somewhere to go with it. Finds Perez. Isaiah Perez. Those glasses back in action. Now you got to kick it over here in the corner. Bender's all alone. He's got a nice shot. Here's Ernsberger. Gets it to Perez. Yeah, that's not a good matchup. Cleveland is outmatched by Elmore down there, so uh, not going to see a lot of low post uh, thrown down to him, Zach. Perez, screen Ooh. there from Cleveland, gets it back to Cleveland, pick and roll works. Oh. Hard pass inside, Bender tries to put it up, no good. Bender's got a pump fake. You got your defender all over you. Pump fake, go up strong, get the foul or the points. Crease rebound to Yarborough, back to him in the corner. Here's Martinez, all alone barrier for three, no good. Rebound there. Mm. Good job, Cleveland. Carter Cleveland. Ernsberger. Block. Wow. Yeah, they're going to say Carter Yarbrough blocked. Yeah, that's his third foul, Zach. So um, see if it matters. Four minutes, 14 seconds here left in the game. I got to wipe that floor. And you mentioned it a couple times with the condensation down there, especially if you go, uh, you know, doing a swan dive on the floor uh, with, uh, <laughs> with that last one. All right, Perez, four minutes left to go in the contest. Bounce pass stolen away. That's Elmore. Spin move. Don't dribble it, big fella. It <laughs> Don't dribble the ball, big fella. The steal is the win for you. Just hold it and wait for somebody <laughs> to get the ball. Crease all alone in the corner. Too strong on the three-point. Ernsberger, great rebound. Oh, oh, Perez kicks that one out of bounds. And the student section for the visiting Chieftains oh, is man. going crazy. Oh, look. <laughs> Ernsberger, great hustle, got the rebound, dished it to Perez. He just couldn't handle it. It's, uh, that's too bad. Barrier. 
frozen at the timeline. Yeah, if you're if you're Hopewell, this is a two a two possession game. You're not looking for the three point to tie it. You're oh. willing to work the offense and Martinez. Great hustle play from Martinez back to back. Elmore is fouled, can't get it to drop, but he'll go to the line. Yeah, he, he had a size advantage on uh, on Blake Bender, and uh, he's going to take that every single time because he's got great wingspan. He gets that little hop up there, and he's got a full foot over Bender, and uh, he's just so quick on it. He, he's a shooter, Zach. He, he's a player. Donovan Elmore listed as 6'7". Can't get the first one to fall. And we have not seen great free throw shooting tonight. It's about 50% for both teams. And it's just, it's been poor shooting. Now we haven't had a lot of free throws, but still just kind of poor shooting from both sides. Both sides have shot four shots. Now five shots for Hope Loudon. That one falls. Yeah, the one six, for two. The six man suitor checks in for Yarborough. Three minutes, 20 seconds to play in the contest. Two point game. Ernstberger. Nice move there. Can he get the finish? No. Rebound, Evan Kreese. That's the third possession. Ernsberger's just tried to play hero ball and go in there. you got to work the offense, and the time is on your side. You're winning. Waste the clock. Kreese, no good, gets his own rebound. That ball smacked away by Martinez, hey. and wow. Cleveland, Carter Cleveland with the hustle play, Zach. Cleveland is all over that, and the dude is pumped right now. <laughs> the entire Hopewell Loudon bench stood up. They couldn't believe it. We'll get a whistle here. Mm. It's going to be on Suter. Yarborough checks back in for Suter, so. Yeah, and Yarborough's the shooter, okay? When, when you need that three point shot, He's the guy they look for first. He's their their uh, high percentage guy, 37% on the on the season there. Perez bounce pass to Cleveland. Ooh, that pass great job, away Elmore. by Elmore. Ooh. Elmore's got those active hands. He's been getting in the way. He's got that long wingspan, too. Ernsberger to Perez. That's what the stockaders should be doing. Get those hands out moving. Perez. Bunny hops his way to the bucket. No mm. good. Crease with the board, big one there. Blake Barrier now. Martinez. Look at Elmore. He's posting up on Cleveland, and Cleveland's letting him have too much space. Look, he's on the he's on the block right now. That's a win for Elmore already. Cleveland's got to get him out. Good ball movement here. Yarborough was all alone. Martinez tries to take it inside, right through the defense, and oh, turnover that pass over Crease and out of bounds. Two minutes left to go in the game. Yeah, they, I, just, I, I think Kreese just wasn't expecting that pass no, from Martinez. No, not at all. They had some low ball screens going down there on the block, and uh, uh, he's that's not his normal spot. Elmore leaked out. It's not his normal spot. Perez gets by Suter. Here's Ernsberger. Tight defense from Barrier. Turnover. And wow, that pass finds its Can't way directly that. into the hands of the wide receiver, Barrier. Why Why are you rushing it? Why are you in such a hurry? I, I don't understand this, Zach. I mean, you've got one minute, 33 seconds from having sole possession of the SBC River Division right now, and you rush it? Take your time. You have the lead. You're winning. All right, run your offense, which, oh, by the way, is pretty darn good there. Get your teammates involved. And it's Ernsberger's just been playing too much hero ball. He's abandoning the offense. You, you can't win games when you do that. We've seen a lot less of Perez. Again, the offense right now is trying to run through Ernsberger. And both student sections are getting into it. Minute 33 on the clock. Yeah, look, the Stockaders have only had three kids score in the second half, Zach. Ernsberger has six points, okay? Isaiah Perez has six points. And then Carter Dubois, he has five points. That's it. Those are your only scores here in the second half. 
All right, where did Bender go? Where did Cleveland go? Now we've seen him very, very active, but where are they at? Under the basket, Woo! wow! What a move from Donovan Elmore. He's taken over, that's his 11th point this half. 15 overall. 15 on the night, leads all scorers. Ernsberger will get a timeout old for. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you own or manage a local business looking to make a big impact? By partnering with Heart of Ohio Sports, your business gets the spotlight it deserves, reaching passionate fans throughout our paywall-free streams. If you're a local business owner and you want to reach people in your community, email us today at whosbroadcasting at gmail.com. That's H-O-O-S broadcasting at gmail.com. Or just message our Facebook page to learn more about how you can join our winning team at Heart of Ohio Sports. So we're about to enter the final minute of play. These two teams locked up at 36. Dominic, what are you saying in the huddle right now for Old Fort? Uh, keep your composure. Uh, I think that's the first thing. Uh, just deep breath uh, and, uh, you know, play your game. You've got one minute. Put it all out there. Leave it all on the court. Okay, and uh, just take care of the ball. Uh, that's that's all you can uh, all you can say. So now on the flip side, how they, do the Chieftains win this game? Yeah, look, Old, uh, Old Fort, they get the ball right here. If you're the Chieftains, keep being active on defense. They've done such a great job the second half. Their hands are active. They're shuffling their feet. They have great backside uh, presence. They just didn't, been doing a great job. They got to stay active on the defense. Here's Carter Cleveland. Bounce pass to Bender, outside to Ernsberger, and that ball tipped away. Martinez comes up with it, and they're gonna slow it all the way down. This is what they do, this is their offense. They're gonna try to get the last shot here, Zach. He got 45 seconds, they're in no rush. Stockaders need to apply pressure, but watch number five, Donovan Elmore, just sneaking around by the block right now. And Perez, an absolute pit bull on defense. Get a whistle here. Yeah, that's going to be on him, Zach. Yeah. Perez picks up his first foul. Look for some traps. They're, they're going to they're going to try to apply pressure, and they haven't seen a lot of that tonight. And they do such a good job. We've seen it work earlier in the season. Uh, Yarborough back to barrier. Twenty five seconds left. They've got a zone defense going right here. It's kind of that two-three action going on. Cleveland stuck in the middle, and you got your two wings on the on the block. They're not going to let Elmore beat them. Back to Barrier. Ten seconds left. Yarborough, Barrier, Martinez, bounce pass to Elmore, and yeah. we get another whistle. Yeah, seven seconds. Uh, so if you're a coach in the huddle right now, Zach, seven seconds. That's like the gold marker there because you want to be able to get a shot off with hope, the hope of getting the rebound if you miss it. But right now, if you have to start at seven, you may need to settle for one shot right now, okay? Yarborough, he's your, your deep threat, but it's a tied game. Anything works, okay? Uh, so you wanna get them moving. See if you can get an easy shot for Donovan, uh, for Donovan Elmore. And remember, guess what happened at the end of the second quarter? He got a tip in, it counted. Guess what happened at the end of the third quarter? He got a tip in, it counted. You don't think that's gonna happen again? He's your rebound option right now. So get a nice shot, let Elmore clean up. Fantastic analysis, 36-36. And don't, don't forget, uh, first game between these two went to overtime. Absolutely a possibility here. The fate, really, of the SBC River Division on the line. These two teams are the cream of the crop. Seven seconds left. Hopewell Loudon trying to make something happen. Like barrier to inbound. And everybody here in Old Fort are on their feet. Barrier gets it into Martinez. Perez in coverage, and we'll get a whistle. Perez picks up his second foul. 
They're the gonna, team third. They're going to do it all again. This time they have five seconds, so they have less time. They're going to have to get a quick shot here because you really you got to think one, two, and then you need to be ready to go. Barrier gets it into Yarbrough. Back to Barrier for three. No good rebound. Crease again. Did oh it count? My he got it. Evan he got it. Evan Crease. Did it count? Evan Crease. Evan Crease with the tip in. Goodness! <laughs> wow, this Evan Crease! Not second chance points, but third chance points. 38 36. I mean, that is electric. People are stunned. The officials are already walked off the court. Game's over. Hopewell out and wins. <laughs> oh. Wow! We, we called it here. Get your shot. Work the rebound, that tip action. Work three quarters in a row. <laughs> uh, we are all in disbelief here on the booth. You can see here the Stockaders walking off the court. They're in disbelief, the starting five, and man. So we're going to send it to break. We will be back with post-game <laughs> coverage. Our player of the game, but final score here in Old Fort, 38-36. Chieftains on top. We'll go to break. Your Legacy Federal Credit Union, your premier financial institution in Seneca County since 1952. Your community, your legacy, federally insured NCUA. Let Heather Hunker, travel advisor with Magical Moments Vacation, take the stress out of booking your next getaway. Specializing in family and group vacations, as well as adults-only trips, Heather can also help you with booking your dream destination wedding. Most trips are planned at no additional cost to you, and you'll have her support both pre-travel and in-destination with every step of the way. Book your next dream getaway now. Heather Hunker, travel advisor with Magical Moments Vacations. At First National Bank of Sycamore, we are a truly local bank that is community-based and community-focused. We are invested in your success, and our team is here to help. First National Bank of Sycamore, banking that just makes sense. Buckeye IT Services is a trusted partner for cybersecurity, fully managed, and co-managed IT support. Municipalities, financial organizations, and mature businesses turn to them to eliminate IT stress and enable growth. Visit BuckeyeIT.com today to start your partnership. Keep it locked in. You're watching Hoops on Hoos. Steinmetz Signs and Graphic Inc. is here for all of your printing and design needs. From reunions to small events, to business apparel and even vehicle lettering, they've got you covered. They make the gear that you make your memories in. Steinmetz Signs and Graphic Inc. You're watching high school basketball right here on Heart of Ohio Sports, the pulse of the Buckeye State. Heart of Ohio Sports is owned by Mullins Entertainment and located inside Studio Squared in downtown Tiffin. The space features a state-of-the-art podcast studio, open for public use. Building a platform for creators is one of our top priorities. UIS Insurance and Investments, your hometown agency providing a full range of insurance and financial services with a local touch. Contact your local homegrown agent, Jeff Leopold, for a professional review today at 419-447-4242, extension 1144. We connect fans to the action like no one else can. As a business in today's market, you got to stay ahead of the game. And what better way than to get on board with the fastest growing brand in media today? I mean, you can take it from me, or you can just listen to them. When recruiters want to see our game film, we tell them they can watch on Heart of Ohio Sports. Classonite, where imagination meets innovation. Unleash your creativity with precision 3D printing. Your ideas, our expertise. Classonite, your 3D printing partner. At Heart of Ohio Sports, 
It's obvious. The first thing that comes to mind is sports. But we do a lot more than just cover live sporting events. When we want to watch our highlights from last night's game, there's only one place we go, Heart of Ohio Sports. Heart of Ohio Sports gives fans the access they want when they want it. And the athletes get the coverage they deserve. Our broadcasts are free and they always will be. We don't hide behind a paywall. When my family can't come to the games, they always watch on Heart of Ohio Sports. You're watching high school basketball right here on Heart of Ohio Sports, the pulse of the Buckeye State. Welcome back to uh, Old Fort, Ohio, here at Heart of Ohio Sports, our UIS insurance uh, post-game show, uh, and uh, bringing you our player of the game here, uh, Evan Kreese. The hero of the night here for Hopewell Loudon is they sneak away with a 38-36 to win over Old Fort. Uh, Evan, I, first off, how's it feel, man? That felt absolutely amazing i mean that was the environment was crazy and for it to come down like that it was crazy last time we played him i missed two game winners at the end we ended up winning so to get that one was nice yeah i bet all right so take us down into the huddle there with uh with your teammates and your coach you got five seconds there and uh what's the coach telling you uh what are they what are you looking for as you kind of set up that last play um, on that last play, we just wanted to get Blake the ball and try to get him to drive. He ended up pulling up, but and we knew we needed somebody back in case he misses and they get a long pass out. But I mean that works too. That was not planned, but hey, uh, those second those second chance shots. That's been like the name of the game so far tonight here. I mean, you guys did a great job coming back. Uh, you know, really clawing away. Uh, Donovan Elmore had a great night cleaning up the boards, putting up some points, uh, and so did so many of your other teammates here. Um, I mean, just how much does this mean to the guys? I mean, the possibility of being able to pick up an SBC, you know, title. How's that feel? Um, this was one of our goals from the very beginning of the year. I mean, last year we did it, and we all shared it, us, Calvin, and Old Foot, and. We didn't want to share it again, but this was pretty much, I mean, this is the game. Yeah. It came down to this, and so to get it was awesome. I mean, before last year, we hadn't won the league in 40 years, any league. Yeah. And then to get it last year and then a chance to repeat again this year is awesome. It's got to feel good. Now, yeah. you've already beat Calvert once, and you've already beat Old Fort twice, I believe. Um, Looking ahead, you've got St. Joe's, you've got St. Mary's, Mohawk, Woodmore, Riverdale, Danbury. Um, what, what are you thinking about when you start looking uh, at those games? Um, have you guys even started talking about any of those teams? No, we haven't looked ahead at all to any of those games. I mean, all week it was just Old Fort, we got to beat Old Fort. If we don't beat Old Fort, nothing else matters. And once we beat Old Fort, now it's just the next game, St. Joe. Awesome. Hey, 12 points on the night. Uh, you guys finished in the crunch uh, when you had to. Uh, amazing job, Evan. Um, I I'm just uh, curious. Any shout outs uh, that you want to give to uh, friends, family, coaches? Um, Got to give a shout out to all the guys on the team. I mean, we worked our butts off today. Um, student section, we always have really big student Ooh. section. And I got I to gotta give it. Shout out to Mason Miller. She had ACL <laughs> surgery today, so got to give her a shout out. Very nice, very nice. I I love your student section. They uh, they were hounding 
the stockaders like all night. That's got to be such a, a great feeling there. So, all right, we've got a couple going away gifts for you here as our uh, Placenite 3D printing uh, player of the game. Uh, we've got a trophy uh, that you get a proudly present in your locker maybe okay uh, or even on a mantle at home and then uh, we've got our UIS insurance uh, we've got a t-shirt a player of the game t-shirt uh, as well as a gift card generously donated by UIS insurance so uh, Evan congratulations on a huge victory tonight uh, well done on his, his <laughs> trophy down um, yep. man, I'm glad you didn't drop the ball on that last one because uh, you got that game winner, so uh, congratulations on a huge victory, and congratulations on uh, making the game winner in tonight's uh, SBC showdown with Old Fort. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right. Uh, we're in uh, Stockader, you know, you know, stadium, uh, you know, uh, arena, whatever you want to call it here, uh, and uh, Old Fort falls to Hope Out Loud in 38-36. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back here for closing remarks here at Heart of Ohio Sports. Legacy Federal Credit Union, your premier financial institution in Seneca County since 1952. Your community, your legacy, federally insured NCUA. Let Heather Hunker, travel advisor with Magical Moments Vacation, take the stress out of booking your next getaway. Specializing in family and group vacations, as well as adults-only trips, Heather can also help you with booking your dream destination wedding. Most trips are planned at no additional cost to you, and you'll have her support both pre-travel and in-destination with every step of the way. Book your next dream getaway now. Heather Hunker, travel advisor with Magical Moments Vacations. Keep it locked in. You're watching Hoops on Hoos. Welcome back. Old Fort Ohio final score. Hopewell Loudon 38. The home team Stockaders fall 36. So uh, the heroics there by Evan Kreese. We just had the interview. Uh, that was such an exciting game. Dom, do you want to give me your takeaways? Uh, you know, uh, look, Evan Kreese, uh, amazing job. And that's, look, he, he mentioned it. It's like you wanted to get up a shot. And then you wanted to have a chance to tip it in. And that's exactly what you needed to do. And you had to do it quickly. So they just executed really, really well there at the end when they needed it. And I just kind of, I keep going back to and thinking about some of our keys to the game there, Zach. And one of the things that we said, hey, keep an eye on is that battle between Donovan Elmore and uh, Connor Ernsberger. And you look at the two of them, I mean, Elmore, he ended the night 15 points and uh, seven rebounds here. Uh, Ernsberger had 12 points and five rebounds, fairly even between the two. But I think when I look at Ernsberger, the thing that really stood out to me is he turned the ball over quite a bit there in crunch time, and he abandoned the offense. And, you know, the first game we watched against Calvert, their offense is what helped them build up a massive lead over a tough team. And they just got away from that there at the end. And it gave Hopewell Loudon the opportunity to sneak back in. And Hopewell was playing their game. They were slowing it down a little bit, running their offense. Uh, it allowed Hopewell Loudon to sneak back in. And uh, it's just, you can't do that. So you sit down, look at the film, and you start thinking uh, about, you know, your defense. You got to have uh, tighter rotations. But uh, more than anything, they, they still could have won the, the game tonight, uh, Old Fort. You just got to run your offense. You know, when we had about a minute and a half left in the game, all they had to do was run their offense, and they could have salted this game away. They had the lead already, but they didn't because Ernsberger turned it over. So for me, that, that's the big thing. You see Evan Kreese executed extremely well at the end. He got the win. Ernsberger, he turned the ball over a couple times at the end. They got the loss. Uh, it Let's look at the schedule uh, going forward here. Hopewell Loudon, their next game Tuesday, February 6th. That's St. Joe's Catholic Central. That's in uh, Fremont, correct? Yeah, correct. And then uh, St. Mary's Catholic, Catholic Central. That's on uh, Friday, February 9th. But really the schedule for Hopewell Loudon kind of gets easier from here looking down the road. Yeah, look, uh, St. Joe's, uh, nice little team, but they're 4-8, and eight, okay? Uh, they're not going to scare 
someone like the Hopewell Loudon Chieftains. Uh, Chieftains should win the game, okay? Uh, Saint, uh, Sandusky St. Mary's, they're five and seven, okay? Again, you're talking about the bottom half of the league standings right there. Hopewell should win the game right there. And then you get down and like Mohawk, you know, okay, you're a ri they're a rival in football. They could make it fun, they could make it entertaining. You probably want to come ready to play for that one. But you start looking at some of the others. Woodmore, they're three and ten. They're at the bottom of the league right there. Riverdale, who knows what's going to happen with that one, okay? Um, and then Danbury, they're one and eleven, Zach. They are the bottom of the league, okay? So you've got you've got a, a very, very favorable matchup, uh, a schedule here uh, for Hopewell Loudon, and they should be able to run the table, and they should be able to take care of business and capture a second consecutive SBC title. Uh, certainly looking to do that here. Final score, 38-36 for everyone here at Heart of Ohio Sports. For Dominic Helmstetter, for Connor Rausch, I'm Zach Dillon. Have a good night. Peace.